Hey hey, welcome back to another episode of Outside In. You're going to start so honest conversations about relationships and marriage. So if you are ready, let's go. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sal- salipichi, salipichi. I'm so sorry. What is happening? Yeah. Okay, hi guys. Welcome Hello. to another episode. Yes. Uh, today we have... <laughs> 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 this. So today we have a uh, guest, right? But uh, they're very special because mm-hmm. so far we have been inviting married guests, right? Married guests. But yeah, because our podcast is about marriage and relationships. Yeah, so relationships ni macam-macam relationship yang ada. But also today we are going to talk about friendships. Mm, but before that... Yes. Uh... We are the digital media partners for Muse Plus. They are organizing a concert for Search Band. Yeah. The concert name is Fantasia Bulan Salju. Mm-hmm. And the concert, it will be... The concert will be held at Star Theatres on yeah. the 19th of January. 19th yes. January, pada jam 8 malam. MashaAllah, mm-hmm. yes. You can get your tickets from www.cystic.com. Gunakan... Oh, SG. SG. <laughs> Gunakan promo code Insiders10 okay? yes. Insiders10 Untuk mendapatkan 10% discount That's right yeah, 10% discount banyak tau guys We okay? win we uh. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see you at the concert okay Jangan lupa beli tickets anda yeah? Alright now So let's meet our guests Ready? Do we have the sound ready? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Welcome. Welcome to <laughs> Outside In <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh is this what the guests mean here yes. All the time? <laughs> So welcome, Pasha, welcome, Pasha and, and Rina. Rina. Yes. Yeah. So they are, Hello. Yeah, they are best friends. How long have you guys been best friends, guys? Oh, we were counting Just before now. this. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. I think it's 12 years. 12 years. Oh, that's a long time. So you guys met in Poly, right? Yes, we met in Poly. We were classmates. Mm. We know of each other's existence, uh-huh. but uh, we were not. Close lah. Wait, you're mean girl like too, huh? Like, 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 She's the mean girl. <laughs> hey, please, please. <laughs> I know her existence lah. Ah, okay. So, but you guys weren't close lah back then. Yeah, we're not. She, no. I mean, the, the back story to this is she finds my voice irritating. Ah. Like, the mark ah, the mark. No. Right. Ni. <laughs> Let me explain. Okay. <laughs> so, it was really lecture. Then, lepas tu, this uh, lecturer was asking question. Then, I think she replied. Uh-huh. Ah. Then, I was sitting in front, she was all the way to the back. Then I like, stop, what's this? So I don't hear the things that I took. So squeaky. So that's how you know, oh, this girl with the annoying voice. Yeah, girl with the annoying voice. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> Did you know her name back then? Back then, tak kenal nama juga lah. I think she added me during the first few weeks mm, kind of school. Yes. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bila Just dah as tahu. A, like a Yeah like Katasi lah Yeah like Same I know school. you yeah, You know me I mm. know you mm. During orientation, orientation. Uh, Back then uh. kan Orientation kan macam uh, <laughs> Common thing is At Facebook Yes, yes. Uh, Facebook. We finish ready At Facebook Correct. Then Then uh, too, Like you See your photo kan uh, uh, She commented uh, Oh pretty uh, uh, So she's a commenter yeah, yeah, Like <laughs> Just a like, you know, uh, give like, yeah, yeah. like, like. Bagus <laughs> <laughs> lah. <laughs> oh, well, just a little bit backstory. So, oh, no, ni punya cable ni. A little bit of backstory. Uh, Fasha is one of our insiders juga. Yeah. Kan? Yay. And also, she's been in our in our TikTok live most of the time lah. <laughs> so, dia tahu lah apa kita selalu cakap kat dalam TikTok live <laughs> tu kan? Like, like. Like, 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 guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, when is it that you guys um, had that bond, uh, the best friend punya bond? Hmm. Okay, the development daripada uh, this girl annoying voice girl mm, how macam that? mana yeah. tu dia develop jadi pekau, pekawan uh, jadi sahabatan. sahabatan so I think Polly was three years right mm-hmm. then subsequently um, I applied a job at this company mm-hmm. that happened to be bila masuk first day tu eh nampak dia nampak dia ah. Said, eh macam eh what are you doing here je uh, eh the girl with annoying voice uh, uh. <laughs> It's annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, memang tak berbual lah. Cuma berbual kat Facebook kena-kena lagi tu je lah. Macam hi, hi, bye, bye. Kat, ah. Kalau nampak dalam sama lecture, then just hi. You know that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So that was for three years. Tak. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then in the same workplace pula tu. Mm, then mm. we started to be in the same workplace. Mm-hmm. In the same team. Oh, same team. Mm. Uh. That's when you get closer and closer. Yes. yes. Very interesting. So, the punya, the punya development dia macam gitu. Mm-hmm. From cosmates, mm-hmm. jadi colleagues. Yes. Ah. So, apa yang buat korang jadi rapat ni? Apa? What is the essence of the friendship yang buat korang rapat ni? Mm. Bila, when we first met, mm. Mm, I think partly because that time the team was quite small. And 
uh, naturally being Malays kan, uh, you're like the two Malays inside the team. Then naturally you makan sama-sama, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keluar balik kerja pun, she happened to stay in the north. So we sometimes go back together. So uh. I think from there then it became closer and closer lah. Yeah. You mentioned you know each other for how many years already? 12 years. 12 years. 12. Not counting the three years lah kan? Mm, counting the three oh, years. Counting the three years. Okay. Years. So, being the same workplace, we we always have that one fella, like, I think everybody has that one friend they always friend. turn to. Yeah. Mm. So, what would, I uh, mean, apart from being... Uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay, okay. The, 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 the interesting thing is, for me lah, personally, when mm-hmm. I go to work, right, even if I have that close one, mm. close friend in the office, right, outside of the office, I'll be like, bye. Ah, you know? yeah. But what made you connect even after work? Mm-hmm. Do you guys like go out and hang out outside of working hours? Well, we do, we do. I think both of us are foodie, mm. so ah. macam kadang-kadang yeah, kalau yeah, lepas yeah, balik yeah, kerja, yeah. then okay, especially if it's a long day, then you just have to rant about something. Macam mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like uh. bobal pasal sidik tu kat belakang kerja tu. Or macam like you know you just wanna have a good dinner after work, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. we usually go out together, and then subsequently it leads to us traveling together. Ooh. Wow, mm. traveling to find food ah. Uh, traveling to find food. <laughs> 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 traveling to release stress. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah. But this one is just co-worker, best friend or like your best friend in your life? Oh, your best friend. Your we, are, we are best friend for life. Oh, nampak tu. Nampak tu. But I feel like some some people like in the position where, you know, I feel like I'm close to you hmm. and I, I think that you are close to me but then it's not reciprocated that hmm. time, you know. So if you find this one friend that you can... Go fight to, with uh. yeah, you can fight with and mm-hmm. go to for anything, and it's reciprocated, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's something that we should treasure. Ah. Yes. Okay, Trust. before that, I want to tanya lah. Pasal dong macam they say they go makan together, they mm. go they go travel together. Betul. Tapi kan, you don't touch apa tau. They never say something about uh, matai. Uh, ah. So, <laughs> korang makan makan ni ada tak? During this whole period, ada. Ada dating-dating ke apa? Pasal I think from what I know, mm. korang currently single kan? Mm-hmm. Yes. Dengar tak orang-orang yang dengar? Habis. Yang <laughs> you just <laughs> had to right? So, <laughs> orang dah tahu ni. <laughs> then like, you know like when you are in a relationship then with your best friend, you're like, you tahu dia buat macam ni, macam tu lah. Mm. Have not. Have. Uh, have lah. I think being typical girls. <laughs> We, <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. Mesti ada. Yeah. <laughs> like, eh, dia tu bau busuk lah. Aku cakap you ni. Huh? Hino orang Mana tahu <laughs> Macam uh, Bagi dating first time jumpa Saya tak nak jumpa lagi lah okay, lah. Mesti you berbual dengan Adalah, you Dengan your friends kan uh, Adalah ada, ada ada lah. Between us I think Rina is the more um, Excited one Over mm. Kalau let's say Eh ada ni I think she's the excited Macam huh? Layana Layana Dia macam Yes yes yes, 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 yes. Yeah, She excited oh, wow. for me okay. like, Layana You should layana. say like this say like she, No you must like that You must like that Kau dah gerak Just take her phone Let me reply for you. <laughs> She, she's that friend. Macam like, that friend. like lambat lah. Then I thought she would just take the one. Then she just start laughing for you. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I do that for my friends also. My yeah. friend, this one particular friend. It's not just me. It's like all four of us. You're like, you write like this. Like, ah, just give me your phone. I write for you. <laughs> swipe, right, swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. <laughs> oh, swipe. <laughs> Kalau aku like, aku like. Kalau aku tak, swipe. <laughs> so, okay. But um, maybe we can touch a little bit more. Of, um, okay, because you, you are best friends, right? Hmm. Mm. The way, the way, hmm, I also, I also, oh, you mess with me. Okay, silakan, silakan. So, um, bila apa? Has it ever been any cases where you ada matai a uh, boyfriend mm. that um, prevented you from meeting your best friend? Oh, wow. I mean, I think this one I give to Rina lah. Uh, okay, between the two of you, siapa yang lagi banyak ex boyfriend? <laughs> Hello, look at us. Obviously, her. You never know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, people on TikTok, you can identify whether you are the one of the two. <laughs> Do you have Chinese blood? No. Then huh? why? Why? Oh, Allah dah kasih dia putih, dia putih lah. Allah. I'm questioning Allah. Masya Allah, subhanallah. Astaghfirullahaladzim. Hi, Fashima. Okay, okay, so back to the question. Ada tak um, when you be in relationship with any uh, guys, ada yang prevent you from spending time with your best friends ke apa? I won't say prevent lah, oh, like maybe like uh, got in between. So, um, Pasal intentionally or not intentionally, yeah. it, they got in between your friendship. 
Oh, don't look at me. Have lah. Have lah. Okay, can okay. Maybe without going too deep into it, is it because you spend a lot of time with your best friend? Come, what's your name? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Dia kasi maybe. Tak nak buka air. 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 So, paham, paham. So, in a way, um, to to have a, if you're looking for a, be- a new boyfriend now, ke apa, it has to be someone that can accept you spending time with your best friend. I mean, you guys are both ladies lah kan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be much of a problem. So, if it becomes a problem, then it's a red flag. Mm. Yeah, mm. I believe so. Kalau macam you're already in a relationship, if this person then if you are if you feel that you are being threatened by having a having this person having a best friend then isn't it a sign of you being insecure then yeah yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. walaupun right. don't do do wanita lah kan yeah, so yeah like what can happen yeah. guys mm. yeah balance lah mm. like you know you cannot be just spending time with your yeah mm. boyfriend right mm. Mm. i think girls also would want to spend time with Girl your time. own yeah, yeah, girl time. time. Yeah, it's different. It's no different. boys allowed. Mm. Hey, but yeah. I always girl time with your girls. But yeah, the thing is, <laughs> <the> <laughs> you different lah. Yeah, you different. Yeah, it's like <laughs> he is one of the girls. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he like, can go like shopping. Yeah. The girls. <laughs> like, like tomorrow, we're gonna have a gathering, mm. and I'm like damn excited. Yeah, with them. girls. Yeah, she can. He can match very well with girls, which I'm very thankful for. I guess because he. Then you wouldn't have well. such yeah. um, problems. Mm, correct, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Sekarang ni, okay, when, when, when was your last relationship? Wow. When was mine? Hmm. Tak expect kan? 2018 kot. 2018, five, years, five years back. Five years. Five years back, we know. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, why? <laughs> Busy <laughs> kerja. <laughs> sekolah. <laughs> sekolah. Oh, yes, yeah. we school. We had school. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Wah, tengok. Kerja you orang amazing lah. Eh? Mm-hmm. Dong daripada kerja, sekolah sama-sama. Sama-sama juga? Mm-mm. Yes. yes. We wow. went to school together. Yeah. When uh, you go through this kind of um, like milestones together, can does it strengthen your friendship? Friendship eh? Friendship. Of course. Really? Do you like do assignments all together? Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. And... and <laughs> Don't get us into trouble. <laughs> no, we always fight. When we're doing assignments. Yeah. I don't right? know why. Yes. Eh. Oh. I mean, I think the most time that we fight is during school. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Because, okay, given the nature of what we studied, we studied uh, social work. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was uh, in uni. So, a lot of things, you know, like, in uni, you buat assignment, you hantar kat cikgu, you tak ada uh, reply from a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's solely on based on your own understanding and how you interpret that question. Mm. So, we always have this thing whereby... I, inter- I interpret it differently, she interpret it differently. Then uh. kita macam, no lah, it's like that. No, it's like that. No, you fight ah, over it. <laughs> Dia macam bingit sendiri tau. Dia macam, eh. eh. <laughs> Kenapa sih? Wow. So, these are like your test of friendships lah, kira-kira. Yeah. Uh. It's small, small disputes. Mm. Small dispute. But you know, like we always say, any kind of challenges makes the relationship stronger. Tak kisah lah, yeah. husband, wife ke, friends ke, kan? So, But has there been any like huge fights? But you all resolved it lah. The fights actually make us stronger. Like, know, know each other better. Oh, uh. How she handle fights is different than how I Ooh, handle fights. Let's fight. talk about oh, that. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so mm. okay, maybe I start. Mm. I don't know if person kalau we, we got into an mm. argument, kan? then kalau macam I feel that we have reached the stage of we cannot agree on something or we cannot uh, come to common consensus, mm-hmm. then I'll be like, okay, let's stop. And I say that, l- let's just stop. Mm. Then mm-hmm. I'll just keep quiet. Because to me, there's no point of me ask fight, continue fighting when we are at the heat of the right. of the argument. Mm. Then I check out you check out something and yeah. Then we just keep quiet, like stick, take a break. But for her, our <laughs> our pressure the person until I get an answer. Like, uh, Why? Why are you so angry? Yeah, like, she, can, can we talk about it? Can we just <laughs> talk about it? Uh, you know, like I see, I see. Wow. Yeah, like just resolve it. Can I put drag until like? Yeah, yeah. Day yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't understand. I cannot up to today. I cannot yeah. understand there's, why there's, is it like that. There's something that I'm seeing right here. Yeah. This okay. The the the, the example that they're giving right is exactly the examples that we've been sharing in all of our uh, married couples punya episodes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it just it goes to show <laughs> that relationships really boils down to communication. Yeah. Yes. No matter what that relationship is. You father, know? Father, mother, father, mother, father, pula. Mother, mother, father. Mother, daughter, father. Ke, sisters, ke, husband, yeah. wife, ke, best friends, ke, yeah. it's all the same. Yeah. yeah, it goes to show. It's really, it's really evident. Lah. Like, uh, these best friends, these two best friends, they mm-hmm. had their uh, disagreements, mm-hmm. but they have their own way of, of solving um, their problems, yeah. or of tackling their issues. Correct. And, and like, 
what uh, Fashia also mentioned that it made them stronger after yeah. that. So how do you generally resolve that? Yeah. Now that you both have differing opinions on how to solve problems. I think at the start, we'll just go head on head on each other, you know, just keep going and on. But th- but I think al- along the way, we we understood each other's when your way of handling uh, arguments. Okay. So, uh, she learned that I'm the type of person, okay, I need to keep calm first and then when I'm more collected, then let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Then, Wow. She, she's the she's the type that I need to talk about it now. Mm-mm. But so, kalau I realize that she's not getting it, can then I must say that, no. I already tell you to stop. Let's just stop. Let's talk later. Uh, well, how do you really accept? Yeah. Very hard, leh. Yeah. <laughs> it it took a while, I think. Yeah, it took a while. Mm. Yeah, cause. But like I, I so ego why like, I don't give in, you know. Like I want to win. <laughs> this is something you can point it out. Like this is just your ego talking. Like you must point it out that like, you're just being egoistic, right? Ah. Yeah. Then, then she will like realize wow. a bit. Okay. Wow, that's wow. interesting. Best friend. Yeah. So like, wow. I'm, I'm like, I'm like enjoying this moment here. Yeah. <laughs> like the, this epiphany. Epi- 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 epiphany. Like epiphany. Epiphany. The, the similarities of relationships, the mm. factors, you know. It boils down to the same thing. Yeah. If let's say, let's say lah, lah in a hypothetical world lah, if both of you tak boleh terima dengan korang punya differences, like, mm. you know, you you do not want to accept her, don't want to talk, you know, things like that. I'm pretty sure it would have been separating you guys rather than bringing you guys closer. Yeah, Betul definitely. Tak? Yes. Kan? I mean, since since okay, if uh, not talking about marriage lah, but if you are best friends, you can just like literally walk away. Mm. Yeah, because you're just yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just friends. Yeah. I mean, people, yes. people. Uh, there's always this saying that people are uh, not saying lah that people come and go in our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in terms of uh, friends, for friends, friends. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. Sorry, one hour of sleep. <laughs> 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 so um, that but somehow, if you value or treasure someone so much as a friend in your life. Mm. You will you will do things out of your own comfort zone to make sure that the problem is solved mm-hmm. to strengthen you, the friendship. You really love the person. Yeah, like. and this is a, a love of friends. Care for of the person. Care for the friends. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's so sweet. Like you so sweet. I mean, yeah. there's also love language in friendship. Like yeah. you yeah. need to learn how to pujo this person also after you da gado 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 again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to just put a band aid on it. Yeah, yeah. and then just like a plaster. Off. You know, yeah. and after that. Subsequently, the plaster drop, then you start to fight again. I mm. mean, if you are, if you can come to an agreement to something, then that's the best, lah. Yeah. Mm. Mm, ah. I've heard a lot of uh, toxic friendships, but this is not one of it. Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay, I I have one more question, right? And then we delve deeper. Okay. Okay. This mm. this question is among the the two of you, right? There, there's always the you know the 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 more reserved one, then got the popular one, right? Which one would you say you are? More reserved and more popular. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm a very introvert person, you know. Is it? I you both are introverts? Yeah, I think both of us are introverts. Yeah. Ah. I, I feel like she can start a conversation with a stranger very fast. Ah. I, think, ah. I take a while. Okay. That's In fact, I think I don't even approach the stranger. Yeah. Really? I mean, but I think also... Partly it comes with experience lah. Like if you are being put in a position where you are in a full in a room full of strangers, then you want to faster make yourself feel comfortable. Mm. Mm. And to do that, then I'll force myself to step out of my comfort zone and then after that, just strike a conversation with somebody. Mm. Then if she's around, then I know that how she is, right? Mm-hmm. Then I will like, try to drag her along with the conversation. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's nice. Then after yes. that, then like, okay lah, kita comfortable sama-sama. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet lah. Like. This, this... Friendship thing is is you know it's been a while since we talk about friendship kan yeah. and I really like it like uh, because kita pun fikir fikir juga pasal kita punya kawan mm-hmm. and our friends yang maybe dah lama kita tak jumpa and things like that so it's it's not to say that uh, it's an effortless thing it, no, it takes not. effort to maintain friendship as well yes right? definitely yeah but but do you have any other best friends like or is it just oh. like one person yeah. I do have uh, close friends mm. around me. I think she yeah. also have on yeah. her own. Yeah. And it's 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 okay lah, can I mean, yes. there's no limit to how many friends you can have. Yes, yes. 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 Ada orang sampai seribu, ada orang sampai satu. Tapi ada orang jealous tau kalau best friend dia ada close friend <coughs> lain. Hmm. No oh, this one like... Ni <laughs> macam makan dalam ha, je. Hmm. Ha, <laughs> tak ada lah. Ha. <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. No, no, no. I'm just saying there are people like that. Yeah, yeah. but I think as you grow older, you realise that actually your pool of friends gets smaller and yep. smaller. Mm. For sure. Yeah, yeah. then... That's when, like, you just get close to people of this few, je lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
like Pobit mentioned, mm-hmm. keep your circle small. Yes. Yeah. But and then I, I want to know one more thing. When was the moment that you both look at each other and say, yeah, we are best friends? Ada ke? Astaghfirullahaladzim. Ada. Ada ke? Dia punya mengucap. It's like, oh man, yeah man, you my best friend. I'm your best friend. You know, that that, that, that feeling. I had that. I had that moment yeah. with my best friend. Hmm. Yeah. I think, mm, okay, you know they always say traveling is the time where you actually test your friendship. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So we we tried lah, we travel together yeah. and then when you travel together then you realise like <laughs> uh, how the person uh, uh, travelling habits. Ah, yes. uh, then macam like, okay lah, uh, this one, they say you will, you will either make it or break it at the end of it. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, that's when you macam, okay, faham this person kalau kat rumah macam mana. Mm-hmm. Okay lah, walaupun kita kat hotel sebenarnya. <laughs> then, macam, you can live with this person. You can see yourself, if you put myself inside the same room as her, you know that somehow we uh, connect. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Macam walaupun, ada orang, I cannot even put this thing here. You must put, for example, this is a lip gloss. I must put the lip gloss at the toilet where my toiletries are. Uh, uh, some people is like that wow. But then right. If you are able to live With this kind of Little little things I think okay la. It brought yeah. us closer la. So when wow. you, you You went home To Singapore You were like Oh man We're best friends <laughs> And macam like We, we can do it take, again We always take <laughs> Balik Balik sama-sama yeah. Yeah. Macam like Oh, this is the end of our travel. Oh, oh. Like, oh after four days, like we are parting already. Yeah. Oh man, I miss my best friend. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go and my best friend. Right, Hannah, you hear this? We had Uma, do you hear this? <laughs> Can you please meet me again, right, Hannah? Uma? It's nice. We we hope that everyone has that one friend yeah. that they can rely on and support. Yes. 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 Yeah. So, okay, so uh, I wanna ask. I wanna ask. Mm-mm. So you are best friends, right? But you shared with us, of course, lah, hmm. that there's this one incident that really, how do I say this? It really, really cemented, cemented this friendship for the rest of your life, yeah. forever and ever. Yeah. Yes. Can you share yeah. about that? You want to say it? You, you say it? Lah. So, um, I think what brought us even closer was the fact that um, both of us lost one of our parents within the span of six months. Oh, Ooh, so mm. one loss and then... Six months later, the other one lost yes. the parents. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, could we share a little bit more details about the chronological order of these things? So, what? Okay. One thing, okay, before lagu sedih ni, Kala. Kala lagu eh. One thing about me is I'm very bad with years. So ah. whenever I need to know when did this particular thing happen, I need to ask her. Ah. And then she will tell me like, oh, it's in this year. Oh, okay. So she's the she's the timeline ah. Yes, yes, yes. I can remember it. dates very yeah. well. Oh, okay, okay, fun events, fun, events. Ah, fun fact. Dia macam kalau you ask her lagu ni keluar what year, she can tell you. Oh, Are you serious? How do you okay even lah, do that? Tak accurate sangat lah. Yeah, dia macam okay lah, she's there. 2020, the day one macam uh, one year different. I think because oh, I will wow. attach a song to a year. Oh. Uh, to a memory. Yeah. 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 You see, yeah. this, this one, your, your future husband kan, uh. mangkuk ya. The moment Why? you cannot Where remember something. Where is our anniversary? Where is the Why you don't remember? Where is the first date you go out? What did I wear on the first date? Oh, <laughs> dia boleh ingat. Uh, dia boleh ingat. Uh, I think I will remember. Yeah, you confirm will remember. <laughs> Kalau macam lagu pun, I cannot remember, you know? Yeah. yeah. Asyik. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so, so, let's get back. 2020? Yes, 2020. Okay. okay. So, um, I lost my dad in the year of 2020. In January. Hmm. Then, um, I mean, it's a... It, It, that, that's the start of the grieving journey lah. So uh, when, I, when I lost my dad Then uh, the person who was with me Throughout other than family is her mm. Then I think there's I think, I think it builds our friendship even stronger Yeah and then um, I think Macam orang best friends keluar sama-sama pergi makan Mm-mm. Pergi jalan-jalan mm. So ever since then Our, our thing involves Going to Kubo together. Masha. Alama, lagu. <laughs> oh no. So, yeah. Within you lost your dad in January, and then Vina lost my mum. My mum in June. Correct. Six months apart. So oh within gosh. this, within this few. Okay, we talk about uh, Fasiha first lah, hmm. because since in January. So when when the day you lost your father, hmm. what was what was it that Vina did for you? Can you recall? 
Yes, on the day that I lost my father, I think I think it was in the early morning lah. So I remember I texted her, but remember tengah tidur. <laughs> pagi lah kan? Yeah, pagi. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> so so the moment I think when she realised, then she texted me and then she told me like, don't worry, like uh, anything about work related, I'm going to office and gonna settle it for you. Wow. Yeah. So I literally let go whatever yang kat kerja tu semua. I just say this is my um, password to my cupboard. Mm-mm. Whatever you need is there. And happened to be before I left work that day, I actually wrote down a list of things that I need to do. So mm. I say um, you can just take this post-it. This is whatever I need to do. Uh, then pass to whoever that that needs to to cover for me lah. Mm-hmm. And then since then, I think I only went back to work probably like a week later. Mm. And I think one thing that I really really appreciate was the fact that she travelled to my house every day Marshall. to every go day to work with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where, where do you stay? Where do you stay? I stay in Ishun. Woodlands. Okay, okay lah. That's quite really a far. distance away. Then you take what bus? No, I grab over. Every day? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes. What is money when you have this kind of friendship? <laughs> the company. Come. <laughs> <Kan? laughs> this is just so sweet, guys. Yeah. So she she travelled to my place every morning to go work together with me. Mm. Then when I did tell her lah, but like, um, why why are you wasting money so much? Kan? Then she say, uh, it's okay lah. Do it, boleh cari. Oh, Rina. Rina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Tissue, tissue, tissue. Tissue, tissue. Yeah, tepat. Look, man, tissue, please. Look, man. So, kita sambung lagi. Okay. So, bila when when Rina did that for you, like how long did you have did you do this? Like every hmm. week, ke, every day, or that like, for one week with straight? I think it lasted for like two. Two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, I think two to three weeks, and then yes. subsequently, um, COVID happened. Ah. Uh, yes. Then we start oh. to have like working from home and all. So, but during that point of time, that crucial two two weeks, three weeks, like she did that every day, lah. Mm-hmm. Just come over to my place, then go work together. Pas tu balik pun balik sama-sama. Mm-hmm. So like that point of time, macam, like, wah she's like, kalau at any time of the day that I broke down mm. or I needed someone to like just talk to she was there mm. yeah mm. okay Rina when when you first heard that uh, she had Fasiha she had Fasiha lost her father what was going through your mind as a best friend wow all I can think of kind like I know she I know she have all her families there to to comfort her and everything but I wish I could have, you know, like fly over immediately and not mm. go to work because I did proceed to go to work and settle yeah. the work mm. stuff. But I did see her after that lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she met me at the hospital that night mm. after work. Yes, yes. And and okay, then this this is the thing. Her sister was in labor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. On the day that my dad passed on, her sister was in labor, but she took the effort to come to the hospital to meet me. Walaupun actually she's getting a new nephew lah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. The same hospital. No, it's a like different, different hospital. Wow. Yeah. When when you went over there, you saw her in the state that she was in. Rasa sedih tak? Of course. <laughs> it <laughs> broke uh. my heart. <laughs> but then I'm very bad at comforting okay. somebody. Mm. Yeah. So you could just like you know just mm. hug her. Yeah. And just be there. Mm. I think just make your present known. Yeah. So I think the the most important thing when someone is uh, going through grief is to be that shoulder to to lie on, mm-hmm. that support to to lean on. Correct. Is it is it safe to say now that you guys have been through grief, right? What can you share with people who has loved ones who are grieving? What do you say to them? I think having support is important, mm-hmm. but as yourself personally, you must also know know how to acknowledge grief. Mm-hmm. It's like when you maybe come across something that reminds you of a loved one that you lost, acknowledge that feeling instead of brushing it off. Because brushing it off just makes it more difficult to bear later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you acknowledge that feeling and macam say it out. So, okay, set example. Uh, my dad used to be a bus driver. So, kadang-kadang you will see that bus on the road yeah. So seeing that definitely triggers <coughs> some emotions. Then if she's around, I'm like, eh, 
Ayah sebas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. she will just hold my hand like, like, oh. so it's okay. It's you like don't suppress it or you don't push it away lah. You actually let yourself feel it. Yes, mm. let yourself feel it because the more you suppress later on, you will just break. Mm-mm. Yeah. Break down. I mean, as much as people say time heals, I would say that um, other than time heals, actually time teaches you how to live with the pain. Ooh. Wow. wow. Mendalam ni. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's, wow. That's the another way to look at it. Because um, the pain would never, I wouldn't say that it's permanently there, but it's very hard for it to go away. Mm, you Can? you know, you learn how to live with it. Mm. Yeah. But mm. without it bothering you as much as how it did the first time. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that was amazing. But okay, for example, if I lose my parent, right, then how do Yan comfort me? Mm. Yeah, so because as a person who has been through grief before, what would what are the things that you appreciate or what are the things that you rather people not say or do to you while you are grieving? I would say, how to say this, huh? Like, time doesn't heal. As much as people check up, or oh, time will heal, you know. Mm-hmm. But I feel like grieving, there's no timeline to it. Mm. You you grieve every every day or like, you think that you're okay, tapi nanti, like maybe two, three months down the road, you are mm. still like, grieving and you're still crying. Mm. Even one year later, you mm. you tetap akan rasa that, that, that feeling tau, kalau you come across like things that is related to the to the yeah. person because it's your it's it's somebody super close to you then yes. one day they're just gone like oh, it, yeah. I think it takes a lifetime for you to come to acceptance to that yeah. Yeah. I mean like just now I say like you express it out so there are times where kalau, let's say you hilang somebody and then the, some people will say uh, don't cry you have yeah. to be strong mm. but as much as it's common to use such terms but to me Using such terms doesn't make the person feel better pun. Mm-hmm. You cakap, don't cry. But what if crying is the only way to comfort yourself? Yes. Mm-hmm. Then what if at that moment, even you cakap, even though you tell me uh, you have to stay strong, I'm not strong. Mm. It, you have to acknowledge that lah. Because kalau tak, then um, aren't you just lying to yourself then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then kalau let's say orang ni dah tak ada next to you to tell you like you are strong, you are strong. When you're alone, then you're just gonna crumble, lah. Yeah, I understand. Mm. So being there, just by the person's side, even if you don't have to say anything, mm. I think that helps actually. Mm. Yeah, just being there. present there, yes. and that was what you guys did for each other, lah. Like, yes. yes, like if you wanna cry, just cry. Mm. You know, like it's okay. Just yeah. pass a tissue. Okay, don't like this. Okay. Is it is it really okay if we don't say anything to you when you are grieving? Yes. To mm. me, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. Is it? Just yes. go there like... Mm. Yeah. Yes. Like, it's fine. You don't have to say anything. Not saying anything better than saying the wrong thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm like, really like, oh, what do I say? Tak cool. I want to be there for you, but I don't know what to say. Just go there. I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Can. Okay. Sorry, I have to stay in the mood. Tengok sikit mata cek. Tak, belum lagi, belum lagi, belum lagi. Okay, then, okay, maybe I can just quote this. You imagine eh, you baru ha- lo- lose this person. And then at the point of time, rumah ramai sangat orang. Mm-mm. And then you will only feel the difference kalau semua orang dah balik. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's when everything sinks in. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's why even though orang tu tak cakap apa-apa, but the person is there, you feel the difference. Oh, oh I see. Wow. Oh. I cannot imagine. I, I think that, that is the hardest, you know, I feel. Because bila... Bila ada kenduri, all this right, like you don't feel it, tau. Because mm-hmm. ramai ramai what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then bila bila everybody leave kan, then you feel that very that silence yeah, that in the silent, house. The very the, deafening the, silence. Yes. The, 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 you, like, it's like someone's voice is missing. Yeah. Yes. macam you macam cari cari. Cari apa? Macam tu. You. Macam macam tu cari cari. Like, like where is she? Like what is this missing thing? Why am I feeling like this? Tak kan cari uh, koin jatuh kat lantai kan? Cari apa? Eh, Misa, <laughs> ingat search, search for what? Terselit. Sempat eh. Do you have someone? No, okay. So, I am... Um, okay, the, the difference between the two of you um, in terms of your loss, mm. 
Mm. Okay, for Fasiha, it was a sudden departure. Yes. But for Rina, how was it like? Okay. Was it was it like um? So maybe I give her. I give her background lah. Okay, la. sure. Uh, so my my mom, uh, she had stroke. Uh, okay. F- five years before she passed. So um, I was a uh, I was still twenty two back then when she had a stroke. Uh, two. Yeah. So. I, I I had to be an adult immediately yeah. mm. after my mom had stroke because uh, she handled most of the things at home. Mm. I had to apa belajar cara masak, cara kemas ah. rumah, mm. it, things that you take yeah. advantage of. Yeah. You know, macam like, you never think macam like, what happened kalau let's say this person is gone. Yeah. You never think through never. that. You know, especially when you are 22, you don't really like, think about yeah. all this guy. Ent- entered adulthood. Yeah, right? and yeah. I just started working back then. Mm. Mm. So when it happened, kan, I think wow, it, it was very hard for for us lah because, macam like, you have to learn a lot of things. Mm. Then, uh, where was I? <laughs> uh, five years. Uh, oh, five years. Yeah, mm. five years. So we we took care of her, uh, my brothers and myself. We were uh, and also my father. Okay. So my father was the main caregiver for her lah. Mm. Uh, so when we were all working, my father took care of her. But little did we know that my father also Indian. Uh, uh, but currently diagnosed. Yeah, currently diagnosed with dementia. Yeah, Parkinson. Yeah. So macam so when after she passed, kan, I feel like I lost my father also. Mm. Oh my. No. Yeah. So macam. Your time. Maybe she high can. So I think um, her, f- her she said she said something that uh, when she her mother had stroke and then that's the moment that she actually start losing the father as well, right? That's what you say, right? Yeah, cause but um, it's like you don't know whether she, he understand what was going on okay. at that moment because but um, the ta- when you lost mama okay so because the father had dementia so at the moment you she she she's like um does my father even know what's going on mm-hmm. so at that moment macam like, you lose two parents at once well the pun the father is there yeah then she after to taking care for the uh, taking care of the mother for five years subsequently she had to be the caregiver of her father mm. yeah Yeah, so much. Um, there's no break, lah. There's no break after you. You didn't have time to grieve properly after mm. you lost your mom. Mm-hmm. Because shortly after that, much. Um, almost immediately, I had to take care of my dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and um, yeah, like like what people say, much. Um, you didn't have time to grieve. You your attention immediately shifted. Yeah, shifted no to break. your to your dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you had oh to gosh. go through a loss, and then at the same time, Allah treated you with another challenge. Yes. Or you to test you, yes. test your strength, yes. and that was with your father as well. Correct. But how? No, sorry. Yeah, yeah but how? How has it been for you? Like, how, are you okay? <laughs> I think the experience that I get from taking care of my mother that really helps with my father, because much I'm think like I don't know. Eh, kalau you go through it, then you understand much other the. the The guilt, kakana, that you feel. You know, kakana, you feel so tired. Mm. Then you just have to do it. Mm. You know, macam because your tanggung jawab as a anak, kan. Yeah. Plus, we don't hire, we don't hire a maid, so oh. we do it full time. Mm-hmm. Wow. And luckily, luckily, my job allows me to work from home, lah. Mm-hmm. So I can, you Look know, toggle after, between yeah. my caregiving roles and my work. Sure. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And also, you have a very supportive best friend, I would assume. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are times that that Kara, I I really cannot. Then I just tell her, wow, I really cannot. Then she will say, okay, slow down, uh, breathe in. Don't don't vent your anger towards your parents. Remember, ah. Uh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, cause there are times where I really cannot lah. I will tell her. Then she say, uh, go to your room, like don't say anything. Don't say anything to your to anybody. Just calm yourself down. So I will do that. Wow. Yeah. So I take my time first, like 10 minutes. 
Mm-hmm. Well, your friendship is just amazing, lah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm very touched, <laughs> to be honest. I, I'm very much. Like, I don't know the right word to say, it, but I'm very much. Like, the only thing I can think about is like, whoa, the fact that you guys are best friend and then you lost your father and then six months later I lost you one. lost your mother. So like, when that role reversal happened, right? What was going on in your mind? I think when. When the feeling was still very raw when I lost my dad. Yeah, six months. Yeah. Then um, I did tell her. Like one of the nights that I was like texting her and I said that, like I hope you never have to feel this way anytime soon. Marshall. So I said that to her. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. So I said that to her and then, not knowing six months later that she lost her mom. So at that point, at the day that her mom got admitted, you know, before the mom got admitted, at the home, she called me. I was at work. She called me. Then she said. Um, like her mom was not responding, and then um, she don't know what to do. Then I said, like, you've been through this, you know what to do. It's okay, calm down. If your mom is going to the hospital, then you go there, because to me, even if I ask her to just calm down, stay at home, it's not gonna help. So be be where your mom is, lah. Mm-hmm. Then I rushed down from work to meet her at the hospital. And then fast forward, and then her mom passed on. Then at the moment, kita dulu macam like, like what is this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kita macam what is this? Like, like even us outside people feeling like that. Like what? Yeah, macam like what the odds? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like you still haven't you know finished grieving. Yeah. Right? Then yet then your mm. friend suddenly go through the same thing. Kind. So yeah. Macam and then like, like I'm sure we went through, we went through school together. Happened to be on the day that she on the day that we were waiting for her mom to come back from the hospital was the day that where she got our exam results. Oh, okay. So I remember I I don't know why I remember that particular because it makes it makes me feel like apa yang you go through to there's nothing that you cannot handle mm. because you when okay the thing is we we check our results together then I failed my results I I failed one of the subject <laughs> but at the point of time. Your best friend just lost her mom. So, apalah sangat you feel yeah, a subject, subject. ni. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, to me, even though at the point of time, I'm like, ah, whatever lah, this is like, I can just deal with it later on. Mm-hmm. But, she, instead of that, she said, no, no, no. Let's just go and write an appeal now. Yeah. So, we did that. Eh. Yeah. Elvin, to me, it's like, <laughs> no, like, 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 your mom just passed on. Let's just handle this yeah. one at a time. Mm-hmm. But, but I clearly know that you were affected. I was affected, but yeah. How am I supposed to make that a big problem in my life when my friend Mashallah. Baru lose her mom? Oh my god! This is the beauty of their friendship. Can you really see? Do you see that? Yes. It's like they don't want to inconvenience the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Kalau I I dah yeah, I don't know about what happened. Got the pee. You know that, that but they, oh, Mashallah, guys. Yeah, so much oh. of like like I, I was just like, never it's okay, it's okay, just just drop it. She no 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 no. Then she went to take her laptop and then yeah. like let's just oh, let's write let's write let's write this together. Oh then I was just like, Ya Allah, like my my friend just lost her mom and then here I am talking about my result. Like at that point, mom, you just feel the guilt. Mm-hmm. But I mean that that stick through me till today lah because I know that no matter what I went through, I will be going through in life. I know that she will always have my back. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Sure. I can I'm just so oh. <laughs> see. see, this is why I say he's more sensitive than me. Please <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> stick guys. together all the time, okay? Yes. <laughs> Siapa yang ada kawan-kawan semua tu? Masih ingat ni. Okay, I have one hmm? question. Yeah. If one of you guys get married, would you cry? Wow, we had a talk about this. Oh, really? I think you will cry. Yeah, I okay. think I think I will be the one who will be bawling my eyes out. My God. Uh, she what? always say, I don't want to come your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I will fly I'm off. Like, I'm like, I think I'll be in a plane. I'll be going somewhere. I'm like, Rina, I'm not coming to yeah. your wedding. <laughs> she keeps saying that. I'm like, oh, that's betul betul tau. But is it because, okay, I mean, of course you won't lose a best friend, but because you will have lesser time with your best friend like, kind of after the wedding. Like, kind of. Ooh, have you ever thought about that? If one of you ever thought that, if one of you guys got married, <laughs> I mean yes, we will definitely have lesser time. We won't be seeing each other mm-hmm. yeah. as much as how we are now. But I mean, that's life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think you guys just 
born and like forged already. Yeah, yeah. kan. Yeah. On your From sekolah sama, sekolah kedua pun sama, mm-hmm. kerja pun sama. Macam-macam lah. Okay, I want to ask you guys something. Can you share, if you guys feel comfortable, right? Can you guys share some of the things that you regret or some of the guilt that you felt after you've lost one of your parents? I think I think I start first, okay? Okay. I think one of the guilt that I have was, although macam I jaga my mother, kan, tapi there are times where uh, she don't want to go for her therapy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, macam, I don't know Susah. why she don't want. Mm. Is it... She got no aura to support her, you know, like give that motivation for her. So I wish that at that moment, kan, I use my leave to actually accompany her, which mm. I didn't. Mm. So I keep telling myself, ah, I should have, I should have accompanied her. Maybe that will make a difference because during, mm, yes, yes. Stroke, kan, during the first few months is the most important mm-hmm. one, right? She, yeah, so much as she don't want to do tau. She don't want to go therapy. She say, ah, tak agus lah, apa lah. Then refuse. Mm-hmm. In the end, kita stop the therapy because the tanah. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's one thing that I wish that you know I I would have would have done. Made, yeah. made a difference lah. Yeah, maybe like, maybe force her to go. Yeah, like give her the motivation. Because mm. uh, Shia, do you do you want to share as well? Mm, I think mine would be the time spent. Time spent. Time spent together. Because, um, I mean, I grew up having my father to chauffeur me from school, pasu pergi tuition, bapa anta, you know, mm. that kind of thing. Mm. And then, when I started working, I was, I have this mentality of, of okay, I need to work, I need to start giving back to mm-hmm. my parents. So, I work, I, I, I have this imagination of one day that I'll be supporting my parents. Yeah. Like, fully. Mm-hmm. Then, um, I think on the there there are times where my father will always tell me, um, why why must you work so hard? Why must you OT? You know that mm. kind of thing. Like, um, no need to work so hard. But and then I back of my mind, I I, I mean I have this like goal la, to go to. So, um, I think me working a lot like didn't have much time spent with him. Yeah, and then um. I feel that if if you ask me kalau hari ni what I want, you'll probably just me sitting with my dad having a meal together. Mm. Yeah, oh. I think I think that's what I would want lah. Yeah, because um, while growing up, you don't you don't have you don't know that at this age you gonna lose your mother or your father. Yeah. You know? Yeah, never know. So, bila bila that time comes then. All your imagination of okay, one day kalau I graduate, my father is gonna be there. Kalau kalau I kawin, I ada you nak know my my father or my mom can um, jaga my kids. Yeah. yeah. So having all this imagination and then when it happens, like everything is gone, then you just wish there's more time together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jangan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm close to my mom. Mm. Even the thought. Of losing her can waterworks immediately, <laughs> yeah. So, ni masih hidup. So I mean, I mean, we okay talking. Eh, jangan lah, jangan jauh ni. Cause like I think Rena mentioned uh, earlier also, kita macam at at this age or even macam a few years back, we want to experience life. We want to do so many things. We wanna we wanna achieve this and that. But we often forget that we are growing up, but our parents are growing old. Sometimes it's, I mean, but at the same time, it's human lah, like to feel frustrated and what. <laughs> not not just at our parents, even at our friends, our siblings, even our husbands. We have we have that feeling towards them sometimes. But I, whenever I feel like that, I, I would just think of, just imagine tomorrow she goes, then I'll be like, no, 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 no. Even if now I don't I don't visit her for too long, or two weeks is already too long for me. If I don't visit her in two weeks, I will feel much like this. I will feel this feeling. I don't know what. I, I do this because it's like a itching feeling. Aching feeling. <laughs> it's like, oh, macam tak sedap, macam tak sedap. Garuk tak boleh garuk punya. Huh? <laughs> I cannot find a spot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I cannot. I... I, I, if if Yan is not there to 
pergi sama-sama or anything, I would just tell dia macam, can I go and visit Mama today or like tomorrow? I think I think it goes without saying lah. I think as in nowadays, we tend to want like what Fire said, we tend to want to achieve our goals um, in the span of time that we have, no matter how old, no matter how much energy and things like that. And maybe not everyone can have that relationship that they have with their parents. Sometimes they have a tough one with their parents. They have close ones, you know. But end of the day, when we look back, eh, like sometimes you just want to turn back time mm-hmm. to change or alter something just to make things even just a slightest bit better, Mm-mm. so they can like for she has she wants. Well, I cannot talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have more time with yeah. the people that you want to spend time with. Mm-hmm. And then the things that we all take for granted is we forget. We forget that this life on earth, this dunya is temporary. Mm-hmm. And ajar maut tu dalam tangan Tuhan. Okay? So when, when it's, it's like we need a constant reminder to tell us that we are just here for the time being spend as much time with the loved ones with your loved ones jangan if you can that have that five minutes you can have that five minutes to just call it. someone just call lah oh, yeah. tak kisah lah just call lah you know you never know whether you can have that five minutes again you know mm-hmm. so yeah I mean I have someone close to me who said this before and I remember sampai hari ni lah if you love somebody you must be prepared To let the person go mm. Be it to Allah Or be it to someone else mm-hmm. So If you ask back yourself like, How prepared are you to lose your parents? Never Yeah, never And how prepared can you be? You can never be prepared Yeah yeah. So um, Appreciate what you have Right now Me. Yeah. Mm. Nice <laughs> uh. I think Uh Wow, our episodes now it is very sad. Dala, ana boleh lagi ya. Aku yang nak bodoh nangis, aku yang nangis. I think it's uh, today's if if you chance upon this episode lah, then I think this is a reminder, perhaps for you to visit your parents, ask them how they are, bring them out, go jalan-jalan, just. You know, make them happy a little bit, no? But <laughs> I saw uh, a comment just now. This uh, friendship kalahkan some of the relationships out there. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> the bond and the, yeah. the and love. I feel that this is only possible because of the communication that you guys have. You know, mm-hmm. would you would you attribute it to that? Yes. Communication that you definitely. have. Definitely. And mm. communication is not something that happened overnight. Yeah. Like you build that. Communication along the way You mm-hmm. learn how this person communicates You learn how to adapt to each other And I think If you are able to do that Then I believe anything that happens You can get through it Do you guys still have moments Where you just call the other person And talk about Your grief Up to this day oh, We have this We have this like One song Wah, wow. that we refuse to listen to up to today. Like, up to today, we cannot, we cannot mm-hmm. listen to it because immediately, macam dengar terus, we'll be bawling our eyes out. Yeah, yeah. macam yeah. kalau tengah drive, uh. pasal tiba yeah, yeah, yeah. radio tu main lagu tu, uh. mana we nak change? Change, like, change. <laughs> or like, <laughs> or like just reduce the volume. Uh. Lagu apa? Lagu hanya rindu. Oh, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Yes, I cannot. So. Yeah. After today, you know. Okay, yes, that song really, really, really It's about the loss of a mother Yes, yes. And, and then okay. like every single word in that song Just hit you hard mm-hmm. Yes, yes Even till today eh? Even till today Then wow. you can skip Eh no Wala Let's take a cry Wala That was instant <laughs> tau That instant Eh, tak lah Stop it, stop it But I think I think Other than that Like How we also manage our grief is If there's any time of, not the day lah, maybe any time that you feel that, um, can we go to Kubo? Mm. I think, or like, can we go and visit soon? And then you literally like make time for it because you know that that is one thing that can comfort you. Mm. Walaupun actually pergi Kubo tu tak wajib lah. Tak but wajib. then, like if it makes you feel closer to whoever that you lost, mm-hmm. like we make time for that. Yeah. yeah. 
And you go together. Yeah, yes. we go together. And then macam, because it's a six months gap, right? Mm-hmm. So our the kubu is actually quite near each other. Oh. Mm. So you across the block. Street, kan? uh, tak, tak across the block. Lah, right? Across the block. Yeah. So wow. macam, every time is, um, Maso also drop by her mom's first and then drive to my dad's one. Like it's like a routine. It's like a routine. It's like almost a routine. Wow. Yeah. It's like that when, when the two of them is, you know, they're like, they're like imagine, imagine eh, two balloons. Satu terlepas, dia taik. Satu terlepas, dia taik. Yeah. Kan? Yeah. It's like, it's a good we go together. We, we travel the world together in these two balloons. Yeah. <laughs> Comel lah. <laughs> kan? No, and then my, like, like, I mean, all of us know that caregiving, caregiving is hard. Yes. So there are times where macam she would just call me and she say like, um, I cannot take it. Like today is just too much. You mm. know that kind of oh, thing. Yeah. Then I feel maybe when when she was she's feeling like that, I think what she just needs to know is what she's doing is a good thing or amazing thing. Lah. Mm-hmm. I mean, how many of us can say that we take care of our parents up till our parents pass on? Yeah. You know, from daily needs, right down to daily needs. Mm-hmm. She's, and how many of us are given the opportunity to do so? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the fact that she was able to do that, like, I think I needed to strengthen her that way lah. Macam, every single deed that you do is a pahala, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And jaga your parents from my mom to your dad. Yeah, I think sampai that. Sekarang. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sampai sekarang. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We pray that you will uh, keep having the strength. I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's genuinely. I feel like this is just my personal opinion. Uh. It's sh- totally human for you to feel that way, yeah. Um, having to take care of your father, right? But the thing that I'm most um, thankful and grateful for is that you have your support system. I agree. Yeah, in the in the event that it's just you alone, I think it will be more challenging, lah. Yes. So. So I feel like other than your family, some friends, some best friend, pun you still need lah because yeah. sometimes there are things that you don't share with your siblings, yeah. kind, and you just need to like you know, bilang mm-hmm. your best friend. Yeah. So <laughs> she end up, you know, sometimes certain things also I bilang you. Punching back, punching back. <laughs> <laughs> but but you cannot oh, no. deny that that in in caregiving, kind, like I'm you, like I'm thankful I still got other two other brothers mm-hmm. to you know, um, help mm. with you with yeah. the caregiving. Yeah. Yeah, so Are you the eldest? No, I'm the last one. Oh, youngest. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Bengsu. Bengsu, tapi best possible. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> now that you both have gone through something similar and you both have been there for each other, would you be prepared? Would you say that you're better prepared right now if let's say something else were to happen? In terms of what to do on that day, maybe yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think if you ask me whether I'm prepared to lose... My mom, I would say no, because you can never be prepared for it, lah. Losing somebody like that, and um, I mean, no matter how, um, uh, you have maybe disagreements with your mother or like your parents, then you know that whatever it is, you can never repay whatever that they've done for you. Yeah. So, kalau la. You ask me whether I'll be prepared to lose her anytime. I'll say no. Because you already lost one and you know how painful it is. And you wouldn't... Now, you I wouldn't want to go through it again. Mm-hmm. And like, recently I lost my uncle. Even though it's just an uncle, but the attachment is there and you still feel the pain. Yep. So... Betul lagi mak sendiri kan? Apalagi lagi like losing your own mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same. So, I think you can, you can never be prepared emotionally, tau. Like for me, I wasn't close to my dad. Um, mm. Yeah, we we didn't had that close relationship. Tapi because of him, uh, suddenly had a dementia, Parkinson. I think that bring all of us closer to him. Mm. Yeah. The bond that I have with him, kind now, is something that. I, kalau you ask me 10 years ago whether you have this kind of bond with your father, I don't think I will say yes. Mm. Yeah, we never like tachi-tachi ke, you know, macam, now, yeah, now macam, every day I will make sure that, macam, I want to hug him, I want to kiss him, mm. I want to like, you know, touch him, even yeah. though macam the, you don't know whether the kenal me or not, mm-hmm. I don't think he does, oh. but, really? yeah, so macam dia dah severe dementia. Okay. 
Uh, but I feel like I feel like touching to maybe will help for him to the know that. Love. Yeah, so much. Um, even though kakak orang cakap, eh, tak sedih ke? Like your father don't even know you. That feeling, much. Um, dah tak ada, you know. Because at that moment, much. Um, I just, I just want to be there. Mm-hmm. I don't want to regret if anything happened. Mm-hmm. And knowing that I lost that, much. Um, when I was younger, I wasn't close to him. He was busy working. Now I think macam like, Allah tu bagi opportunity for me to spend time with him. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. I honestly macam like, tak imagine kalau I lose him. Cuz every day every day you jaga dia, then you like shower him. Mm. You know macam like, those moments are very precious. Mm. Yeah, then I try to tak like, ambil gambar as many as I can, you know, mm. because you don't know like yeah. kalau you know yeah. you see this photo when yeah. he's got if yeah. Amazing. It's all love, our parents, guys. Yes, please no matter, treasure things. No matter treasure what the relationship. Yeah, no matter what the relationship is. Correct. They are still your mother, still your father. I mean... Yeah, we should love them, care for them. Like how they cared for us when we were younger. Yeah, especially during their last golden years. You know, we want to fill it with as much happy memories as possible. Right? See, my husband crying already. So... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> let this feeling sink in, everybody. Mendalam menusuk kalbuku. Visit your parents soon, and I think yes, guys. Thank you so much for sharing thank everything you. that you've shared. But before you. before that, I maybe I'll give the time for the two of you to say some words of affirmation for each other oh, for hello. your past few years oh. of friendship that you guys had. So the next few minutes is for you. Oh. Who wanna start first? Not very good with words, you know. Okay. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I say thank you <laughs> <laughs> to each other, right? Yeah. Mm. I want to say thank you for being there for me during my difficult times um, and continuing to be with me till now. Mm. I know that we don't agree on things, but I appreciate the effort that you took to at least um, hear me out. Mm. I I mean they always say people come into your life to teach you a thing or two, um, but I hope that you will continue to be there no matter what and um, just know that um, even if the thing gets tough like inshallah I'll be there I love you <laughs> so sweet I'll try not to cry okay yeah don't and I'm not good in with words also no fussy huh? Uh, thank you for for being there for me, especially like through all my ups and downs in life. And I think um, being there for me when my mother passed away and guiding me throughout the whole process, I think that is something that I will never forget. I think till the day I die, knowing that your best friend stayed throughout. I I know that I can be very difficult <laughs> but I know you're the only one that actually can can tolerate me lah and for that I think I'm thankful yeah. I mean there's this one thing that we always tell each other you know how they say kalau if one day you want so sure girl, but so you don't see your friend there, oh. okay, <laughs> she no. always say that. Then I always tell her like, like find for me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, that hit me, man. <laughs> Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you feel like <laughs> she just threw <laughs> <to> her <remove laughs> the <laughs> shirt? <laughs> Masa. Oh. Alright guys, so we hope we really, really genuinely I just hope. Have one last thing to say. Eh, kenapa? One last thing to say. Mm-hmm. Their 
future husbands are going to have a tough time <laughs> to match up to this level of friendship, man. Yeah, man. But if they do have that, Alhamdulillah, we I pray think for I'm them pretty sure get. that guy yes. would be a blessing for them. Yes. InshaAllah. Kita doakan juga korang. Amin. And do akan to terbaik untuk the both of you. Yes. Do akan terbaik for your for families, family. for yeah. semuanya lah. Mm-hmm. Kita sama-sama do. Ha, sama-sama do akan yes. satu sama lain lah. Yes, I so red. Tak do. Wow. Dah ada nangis dah tu. Dah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's say we, uh, we hope that this episode will benefit you all, that you can get inspiration, and yeah, just really treasure your. Parents. Treasure your loved ones. Treasure your loved ones. Okay, thank so you once again. Mm-hmm. Thank, ooh, what was that? Oh, thank okay. you, thank you, Rena and Pasha again. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> hey, pun dia langgar. <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Thank you thank for you. sharing your story, you. for sharing your words of wisdom with yes. us, and for your, all your uh, for crying on for, uh, making us cry also. Yes, <laughs> and also for you guys, if you want to go to search. Band concert. Nak nangis sama-sama kat concert <laughs> bila nyanyi lagu Isabella. Yes, Fantasia <laughs> Bulan Salju. You can get your tickets at www.sistic.com.sg Jangan lupa. Code. Use promo code INSIDERS10 to get 10% off your tickets. Alright? Kita Until jumpa then. di sana, ya? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, uh, with that, let's wrap it up. Eh, belum habis lagu sedih dia. Aku nak nangis lagi nanti. <laughs> Minta maaf ya, kawan-kawan. Okay, with that, let's wrap, let's wrap it up. It up. We have come to the end of another episode of Outside In. Hope you like what you have heard. If you do, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and share with all of your friends who will benefit from this episode. Our TikTok, our YouTube, our oh, Spotify it's... and our Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, share ya. Yeah. Jangan lupa rate, jangan lupa sh- uh, like. Yes. Semua-semuanya lah. Tolong kita, kita tolong awak. Yeah? Yeah. See kita ya. Kita jumpa lagi masa depan. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Bye-bye.